Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Today, I have a light bulb. That's all I have. It's not just any light bulb though, this is a Philips Hue light bulb. So we're gonna go ahead, get this set up. I'm not gonna show you how to screw in the light bulb either, but I am gonna show you how to get it set up and get it connected to your Google Home as well. And we're gonna get that going right now. First up is the light bulb itself. All we bought today was a single white light bulb. We don't have one of the color ones from Hue there. That's all you get in the package is a light bulb and instructions. The other component you're gonna need is the Hue bridge. This bridge connects directly to your router and from there it takes care of the rest. But you're gonna need both of those components in order to set this system up. Now it comes with its own AC adapter and its own ethernet cable. Here's what it looks like all set up and connected to my router. Now let's go ahead and get this set up on your iPhone or your Android device. So what you're going to need is the Philips Hue application and right away on entering it starts searching for the bridge. There's nothing you have to do here it just finds it once it's connected to your router. We're going to go ahead here and click setup and then it asks us to actually push the button. So you go ahead, push the button, and then this is what comes up. Basically a terms of service agreement. And then it does ask you to update right away. Now I'm not gonna show you the whole update process cause it's, it's really just watching a screen. Once your device is updated, you're able to move forward. And then we're starting to get into some of the configuration here. So this is just talking about HomeKit and Siri, which I'll show you another time here, but today we're just setting it up with the iPhone. Uh, but you can use HomeKit and Siri. Now in here we have the light setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a light because I have my white light. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit search. Now right away comes up the, the lamp, which I have connected. I did have it turned on. You do have to have it turned on in order to find it. Now you can rename, create a new title for it. So if it's in a specific spot, you wanna call it that, go ahead and call it that. That'll help you identify it later in the process. Once you've done that, now what you have is the ability to add that light to a room. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create my basement living room here because that's where I actually have this light. The different rooms allow us to set up a different breakdown of your lights, allow you to control them at different times. They allow you to do a lot. So now I have my basement living room light set up and I can just tap the little button here to turn it on and off. The light comes on and off. So we're gonna go ahead now and start talking about routines. Now what these are is these are just basically automated methods for controlling your lights. Now we're going to start by setting up when we come home or when we leave home, we're gonna set up what our lights are gonna do. So what do we wanna do when we're on our way home? Maybe we wanna turn on these specific lights. And again, you can set this by light or by room. Uh, you can set a lot of different things. So if you wanna turn on your entire basement living room when you're coming home, here you go, you're all set up. Now if we're leaving, obviously we wanna turn off all of our lights. That's a great feature. I, I know I'm gonna use that. So I turn on the location aware here and that means when I leave my house, it knows and it's gonna turn off my basement living room lights. Now, again, you can set up all kinds of routines. You don't have to follow any of the pre-existing ones that they've created for you. You can do things like timers, you can do things like triggers, uh, you can set different times of the day to turn on different lights. And again, you have that capability of setting things up by room. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you what they call the friends of Hue. Within this section of the application, all they're gonna show you is the different types of integration that you can do. So right away you can see Apple HomeKit, Google, Nest, Amazon Echo, If This Then That, and Logitech. All of those are able to integrate with your Philips Hue. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect this to my Google Home device. Now this is a bit interesting actually. I wasn't able to get this to work, this piece within the actual Google Home application. So I'll show you what happened to me. I think this will happen to a lot of people. And so I'll show you how to get around that actually. Now what it's going to ask for basically is it's going to ask me to log in with my Google ID. And when I did that, you'll see what happens. So this happened every time I tried to do it. So what I did is I moved on to if this then that. Now we all know that we can integrate different applications with if this then that. We can integrate different home, home uh, automation products with if this then that. So we're going to go ahead here. And I've gone right into the Google Assistant part of if this then that. That's how you connect your Google Home device. And I'm just scrolling through here and we've run into OK Google Party Time, which works with the hue lights. So if you, ha if you have the color lights, that one's uh, especially fun. We'll show that in another video here. But so what I'm doing is I'm just searching until we run into another hue one. Here's OK Google Bedtime. It works with hue and we can turn that on. And again, it's going to ask me to log in, but this time my Google account works just fine. And there we are. We're now granting permission to if this then that to communicate with our Hue devices. And here's what we've got to do. We've just got to say bedtime to our Google Home or time for bed or time to go to bed. And it will turn off all the lights if you want, or you can break it down by a certain light or a certain room. So I just left it as all lights because at bedtime, I want all my lights to turn off. Now I wasn't seeing a lot of great applets here that I wanted to use just uh, that other people had created. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create my own applet here for what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on new applet. And we're going to say, if I say something to my Google Assistant, I'm going to say, turn on my basement light. Now, one of the nice thing about the applets here is you can use multiple statements. You can actually give it three different statements. And then you can also set it the Google Home's response to you. So Google Home is going to tell me, turning on basement lights going to go ahead here, click next, and then I'm going to choose Hue now from the list of products. I've asked it to turn on my basement lights, so I'm going ahead, I'm going to go ahead and choose the basement living room and finish this application. So now I've created a new applet that says if I tell my Google Home to turn on the basement lights, it's going to do that. So now trust me when I say that I set up another whole applet for turning off my basement lights. Let's go ahead and do a demo. Okay Google, turn on basement lights. Turning on basement lights. Okay Google, turn off basement lights. Turning basement lights off. Okay, well there we go. Now we've got the Philips Hue connected, working, and automated. If you have any suggestions for further videos or you have any questions, anything we didn't cover, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. I'll get to, right to them.